comes. What's happening, people of Mzanti? Welcome to yet another exciting episode of TMZ Watcher. And it's ABC One, Mzanti for Shizzle. Shout out to you for watching. Uplame na mi ukiadi no si, and I'm trying to fit some schoolu mengine zinte zimnandi in the world of science and technology. Hmm, as kiri nongi buza la. Do you think but mi nangi brave like Ness B in Jai Boleyant? Where na? Yeah. Brave. I don't know. I guess I've never been in a situation where you had to be brave. Listen, Ngabangani, I think if I wasn't a presenter, then uh -huh. you saw Oh, saying I was going to Kuruma, mm -hmm. you're talking about the men and women who protect our country and community. I'm a poet, so, basically. Yeah, so yeah. Well, honestly speaking, those people are the bravest. That's what I'm trying And I'm trying to face some children about Tula Gabanzu. How do they do it? Mm -hmm. Here's what's coming up on today's episode of TOMZ. Now, working in the police force can be a challenging career, but this lady is in it for the long haul. Get beyond the scenes of a day in the life in the police to answer all those questions you've always had. I'm a bulletproof vest are packed with science, literally. See how. It's history time when you look at some of the very first versions of policing. Of course, technology has its hands all over this field, and it's a Tata is a good future. And don't let go to Zupuma School and start getting involved in your career right now. I give a fair to sing Galero Bagza by Porto Xawi Rufia Ivon Leon and on Facebook by Fair to Jamie and Jolla that is in Postella Umbuzo. So let's post Umbuzo and Musuka Tegate. Would you be a civil servant? Open the language, Bushawat. Yes, I'm actually currently studying to be a nurse. Mm, very, very nice. Let's be like a spirit of Fezzeg again and again. Uti, Gigui military, and I'm actually training to becoming a soldier. Yo, it can power in Gaga. I give a fair to keep those comments coming in on Facebook as well as on Twitter. On Facebook, we are simply facebook.com forward slash TOMZ. On Twitter, we are at Tom's under underscore SABC underscore one. What magic is most correct? I'm going to go back What's happening, Toms, as we're still out here at Lordium Secondary School? We've heard what you guys had to say on social media about civil servant. Right now, though, it's time for us to hear what these guys actually have to say. So, what's your name, ma'am? Sarisha. Please tell me, um, what is the purpose or, you know, what is the function of a bulletproof vest? Um, it's to protect lives of in, uh, people that are getting... People who are going to get hurt when it's very serious out there. Mm. I think it's to protect you when you're going out. Mm -hmm. Um... When you're going out with, like, when police are going out. Yeah. Um, to protect the police or the people that are wearing it, like, if they go to war or yeah. something like that, yes. I want to know what different ranks are there in the police? I think there's constables, inspectors, then higher ranks like ACPs, mm -hmm. DCP, yeah. uh, and I think, yeah. There's actually crime scene investigations, mm -hmm. um, homicide. Mm -hmm. um. And why do police officers actually wear uniform? Uh, to protect them when they're doing their work and yeah. stuff. Um, they wear to show that, you know, they, they are the police and mm -hmm. they, they represent us, they yeah. represent our country, mm -hmm. and they wear it to show that, you know, they are protecting us and yeah. Sometimes they need extra reinforcements. Let's check this video out. Now, many police departments around the world have what they call canine units, which utilizes dogs in police work. Now, different types of our canine friends are trained to do things that breed specifically good at. Now, some dogs, for instance, can really sniff out substances, while others are good at catching criminals, literally. Now, ladies and gentlemen, they are trained to have some serious discipline and always respond to their owners in the police. And over the world, these guys have helped to catch criminals, chase down suspects, and found things the human nose would never have uncovered. They've also been used by rescue teams to find people lost during natural disasters. So during the Roman Empire, victims or their families had to prosecute criminals themselves because there was no such thing as public prosecution. Now, in medieval times, townspeople formed brotherhoods of peacekeeping, carrying arms in order to protect other citizens citizens and working together. Now, the first centrally organized police force was set up in the year 1667 in Paris in order to ensure peace and quiet in the streets of France. And in Onyago 2013, the South African Police Service celebrated 100 years of serving and protecting the citizens of South Africa. Obviously, as Gutama points, sometimes can get really creative when solving problems. Ne, one nineteen ninety, US officers actually faked a wedding. Ogbamba ama drug dealers that actually came to the party and the baba. What? What a cool plan, yo! That is cool indeed. Now, but we're talking about Papa Tong. We actually go behind the scenes when you hang out with a young police officer. Yeah, nine out. I was there. Oh. 
It's just a little bit after 4 p.m. but fair to and we are on our way to ending the show. Mm. Now we have a lot to be grateful for for Maponisa Anna who worked tirelessly day in and day out yeah. to protect the people in our country and even the country itself. Uh -huh. So today we are celebrating them by going to see exactly what it takes to become and be a police officer. Mm. What's up, it's your boy CADD, I pronounce Caddy. Yet on another mission, but fair to running the streets of Johannesburg, touch down is so weird. Well, Namka is Kuluma about a very important part of our society. So, it's kind of this way, it's all you poisons, it's still like a bands, it's all you poisons, it's all you It's you and me in this mission. Let's bang it. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, good. Caddy. Lindy. Okay, so Lindy, you're my mission for today. Yes. So what do you do? What is your occupation in this group of Um, Sise Dube Evocational in Soweto. Mm -hmm. This is where we work. Um, I've been working la, uh, for a metropolis for 10 years now. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so you in a metropolis? Um, in metropolis, I'm a police our life is uh, Johannesburg as a whole. Mm -hmm. Because it stands for Johannesburg Metropolis Department. But yes. it's huge. I would say, Abanye Basse Midrand, Abanye Basse Renbeck, Abanye Balai Soweto, Abanye Basse Dropin. Zikipan, Laga, Laga. What do you guys do here? Okay, first thing, mm -hmm. Wala, the first, the very first shift was 6am. Okay. And there, Maupega La Paya Inzans is our parade ground. What? Yes. So parade ground? Okay. Parade, parade ground. Okay. And my officers are figure, they go parade. Um, okay. Yeah. So the first thing, maybe figure, go to the parade, and then we are born to now in Jongo Banyinje. We are born to be in the I'm a Pusaya Shaina, young name tag, the cap, because I'm mm. not going to be a strat in that politic without a cap. Yes. Mang and a cap is a full uniform. Um, Guzoba and a sergeant, we parade as a pega, Uguchi, a mazipo, a righty, a melang benamazip, a makulu, a matric, a melanga, a lane in Wele, melang, which is Vele, you know. Neat, Kanjalo, Ama Ama Abafana Bet or Abu Baba or Abu Puta, Melanga Bebeni, Ninja, Kubizwe e register to see who's at work and who's not at work. Okay. And this is our pocketbook. Okay. As you can see, you write whatever a we enzyme for the whole day from Iskaton okay. Genengaso until Uzushai. If you've been arrested, if whatever happened during the day, you'll record this down here. Okay. And then um, from then we get duties. Okay. This is the radio laying in Petemanj. Yeah. It's our portable radio. Okay. Mafunu Kuluma, if if in Shangan an accident right now. Okay. Mantam the Mangit in Yapumala. Nzo pressala, Mang pressa, control earcon wound receiver. Nzo Mjel with in Shangan an accident and then Zoe record and Zobiago with details. Okay. That's if it's always him. Okay. But if it's always 04, which is UUE radio room. Okay. Uzo, if Guba we are all told I threw Umun to 049, which is an accident and I went so. A city, for example, Uzo T. There's an accident, Konam Nube and Mdipa. Yes. Then 04 will press, I will press on the line, so I will press on the line, and I will press on the line, and I will press on There's an accident, and I will press on the line. Okay, so in here, uh -huh. it's our duty office. All right. A duty office. Uh, we do um, um, applications. Okay, so tell me, what is the line? This is a I'm going to office in the seventh strat in so I don't need one. Yes. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. So there's um, another place that I need to show you, Le Enzans. Okay. Yes. So Linda, we say who is Kipan Kon? Um, that is where you see Fundisa Abantuana from Basa Sevangan, Womteto, Womkwak. Okay. So they need to learn Basa Kula, Basa Bakula, and I. So they come here. But if you buy the lapaya, na ba hand benga mag ni kuta ba zguti stop sign yini, yellow sign yini. Oh wow! And then there's guys this side, the community outreach, dealing the community and going out. Community that's what they deal with on daily basis. And then they go out to my primary school as well. Okay. By your bafundisa, um, teto oe we strati, rules of the road, etc., etc. Many different types of science are used in police work and can help officers fight crime. E-DNA analysis can help the police identify certain characteristics of a criminal before even seeing or finding them. 
Your DNA can tell them things about the criminal's eye color, ethnicity and gender for instance. Criminals often leave DNA behind on crime scenes without even knowing it. Now, we to call another behavioral science divisions where professionals can get behind the psychology of a criminal to figure out why they did it and if they would actually do it again. These men and women are made out of steel. Wow, so much work, but it's so motivating. Babona in action. I saw everything and I was impressed. Ah, robots are actually used for different things. Yeah. What if we had robot cops? Wow, that's interesting. That's in Buffett. We're gonna take an ad break. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. And just like that, my fetus says, we like on a lago SABC one in Zanzi for sure. Yes, my fetus, if you just joined us, we were talking about the men and women in blue who are always protecting us, my fetus, from danger. So, Vaile, my fetus, I have a field day in the Metro Police Cops. A boy, Nitibang Figada, Giga Shuba, Bang Sugar Blind. Yo, I trained Elin was. <laughs> I cannot wait to see that one. Come on, to Facebook, no Twitter, but Facebook's corner. Go magic, eh? Let's go for the last piece in the puzzle. Let's check that out. What's so special about your car? You have a new motor. You have a new extra is bigger than any other car. Okay, firstly, it's brand in your corner. As mm -hmm. you can see, yes. the orange part. Mm -hmm. The color orange and the blue are brighter. Mm -hmm. And isn't there the extra with this vehicle? Well, firstly, as you can see, now we've got our lights. Mm -hmm. And then you can play with the lights as well, as you can see, like I'm doing now. They're doing different things, right? Oh, yes, yes. Yeah. Is there a reason why you can play around with the lights? Yes, uh, if you melee in the A1, you mm. can put them on a standstill, like right now. Okay. Um, similar like it's so good or which is similar to anyone. Yeah. Um, nothing serious is happening. But okay. if there's an accident for Abantaba Puma good so they can see, then uh -huh. that's when you can like um, play with them like that. Okay. Can you see? Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then we've got our siren. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. <laughs> and then la panang ne charge ye ye radio yam. Okay. Sala la pamang se motueni. Okay. Stays there. Okay. And then I don't need to mankuluma. I just press la payan. I don't need to put in kulume ni bambi because. So mina ngfunu bono kuti sponsor kushaganja ni no from your car kuti drive aganja ni. Okay. How you stop a car? All right. First question you ask somebody bo mimi sengele ni. Okay. Can I do that with you? Of course, but because we're going out now, mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to put on my bulletproof. Now, my friends, bulletproof vest is made up of very densely packed synthetic fibers. Now, my fibers now are very strong, but very light, which makes them easier to carry on the body. Now, when a bullet hits the vest, the energy from the impact is spread across all the fibers, which slows it down before it can reach the officer's body. When it comes down to it, the fibers essentially catch the bullet. Now today's vest can protect an officer from most common caliber handguns, but high-powered weapons might still be a problem. Now in the future, our scientists might use spider silk fibers instead of synthetic ones because they are so strong and light. And it reflects here too. It reflects Info. because this is blue, mm -hmm. so this is lighter than this. Okay. So for us to be visible. Now I'm ready to go out. All right. It's not just about writing tickets. Mm -hmm. Well, we write tickets, we arrest, we, we do drunken driving. Well, mm -hmm. drunken driving arrest if we're under arrest. And then if we go to criminal signs or whatever is wrong, we do, we do arrest as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we also um, educate people mm -hmm. like Stratin, on what is wrong, what, what to do and what not to do. Mm -hmm. Yes. But Miss Mott, is it usually in funny driver's license or name is we check out nani or Okay. Yes, Uzo stopa umuntu uzo bonisa manje, uzo stop umuntu, umbulise of course, and then ask for a driver's license. Mangabe unayo when the inspection ye moto to check amataera, to check the license this TIK, ama windscreen and any faults as you can and then you can start charging for whatever they will charge you but before you can charge you must make them aware would see this is why i stopped you in the charge in this all yes 
So why is it important to check it with the laser? It's very important because of my accident I am going to lie straight in. Imagine we are poor, I will check him out when I from Mendly. Which if they are like holy punchy, you know that way. And Abanya Ban Tabeko observant or Mamemeli like his intentions are going to even the same way. Which all which if they are we are least which are correct. Man, I believe they are punchy, but you must man go away. Uzo ham bali pamu ge straight in. Then I go and zaga land. Shy says we mod. We understand. And then abo abo my windscreen, my windscreen my cracky leng. I go drive. I go call. Whatever that's happening, so you must charge so that otherwise you fix the wrongs as the same way. Okay, so if you go for banter, you can buy the number tickets. So what's the difference between the SAPS nani? Um, SAP at Tina, we don't have holding cells. Okay. As now, our cells at all actually. Okay. So mangabe, if if there's a wapa umuntu around here, we found the nearest police station, which is Orlando, I think, Masilan. And then if it's seen in Zega, it um. Deep Kluv. Yes. We learn to learn to use a Deep Kluv SAPS to get him detained there. There's guys that are not going to be able to get him back and get him back as we speak. They're going to get him back. So we need to approach the situation in the right because if they're going to get him back, they're going to run away. So you're going to have to find a way to get him back without them seeing us. That's why I took off my reflective jacket. But we just called backup. So the officers will be here in no time. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so in general, yeah. Mm-hmm. We're not saying that you're like, as in, I'm trying to find my mature police. So what happened? Um, I applied for SAPS. And when I was pregnant, I was pregnant with my first child. Okay. And then a few months later, I applied for JMPD. And then I was born again. That's how I got the job. So. I still have the passion that I had. I still have the passion for this job. So me being called the second time, I thought good I was I was meant to do this. Yeah. So wanting to help out the community and doing is into it. Many things I think when I go to as in the he any today ends with him from the final seven. Nyabong, it was great meeting you. So I'm going to be to go by Metro Police, I'm going to be able to go and it's pretty much important when it comes to our society. So let's be responsible so now you get to meet your to be So this is what we call Mission Accomplished. Until next time, adios. Hi, I'm Fetu. I'm going to be here with TMZ. I'm going to be here with you. 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 All you have to do is simply go into Facebook as well as our Twitter pages. You can share a tag, you can share a like, you can share a comment, you can share a comment. If you want to be here with TMZ, it's a school in Sako, then all you have to do is simply drop us an email on toms at sabc.co.za. For now though, let's see what went down. talking about last yesterday's exam <laughs> <laughs> now guys let's talk about serving and protecting our country we love our country right yes we do yeah so we know there are cops there's soldiers that actually work for the country i want to know why do you think this is important for us as south africans uh it's really important because <laughs> It's important because we need somebody to protect us. We have nobody and it's their job to protect us and I think that they're doing a good job. Yeah, very, very nice. Now guys, if you want to be a cop or a soldier, where do you go where do you go rather to get more information on that? Go out doing research and you know, reading more books, asking people about it, people who are more experienced and know more about it. Mm. Well lucky for us, technology hasn't forgotten about the men and women who protect us in the streets. And in fact with the new developments by Fair to Ugbamba Umteto is a about to get real. Check this out. New crowd control tech will use devices with high pitched sounds to scatter crowds. Other tools like lasers and microwaves will also be used. Facial recognition will be everywhere and used on every camera. Now new algorithms on software will predict who will commit the next crime and where it will be. Mm. And drones will be used as mini police helicopters to see where officers can't see on the ground. Mm. 
I slale pants ibambum teto slale pants zing. Did I mean against Buzai Buffet? What if all the best number cops are my robot? I am guys, but with the little information that we have, we can draw up on our conclusions at Tila. So I'm going to go so we'll talk about Tila was part of it. We know that robots have been used for Iminyaga Emineng, like Mishabini, to detonate bombs and protect Amapoisa Wit. They've also been trailed of robotic police officers in the streets. Theoretically, a robot cop would be able to scan about 1,500 license plates per minute, have facial recognition built in it, capture audio, take in 360 degree video at all time, test the air for chemicals, and even map its surroundings in 3D. Logoshuguti, they would be able to pick up suspicious activities much quicker than Abantu would, and even spot things humans would miss entirely. They would also be sent out into dangerous situations and not be killed, which means Abantu our officers will be more protected. God, just as there's always a disadvantage. On the downside, robot cops would be very intimidating and might be avoided by normal citizens or even might make people feel uncomfortable to share their information with them because they don't have that human touch. We need to think about that. All you have to do is send us the idea of a filter, and if it's fresh and brilliant, we'll make it a TOMZ official episode. Kona Lago SAVC1. And only that, because you get a goodie bag as well as just keep us up TOMZ1. So, Anna Lapika, all you have to do is send through your ideas on Facebook, which is facebook.com forward slash TOMZ. On Twitter, we are simply at Tom's underscore SAVC. One. Well, there you have it, guys and girls. Here's a big shout out to the policemen and women who are working tirelessly hard to protect our country. We salute you guys. But fair too, it's the end of the show. Now, Kodra to the Revolution still carries on on our Facebook and Twitter pages. And don't forget to go into our website at www.tomz.co.za. And stay awake and be alert out there. Definitely. Until Goodbye next time. Check out what's coming up on the next episode of TOMZ. A passion that you for Ilwan was much bigger than he realized. And if Unisa Abandabasha on the importance of animal care, Ilwan were not made to live in cages. So, like about what happens when they do. Learning Dimayako by making sure you have the right tools to do what is necessary. So, like about why we are so grateful that animal shelters do exist. We'll go talk with TOMZ every Monday and Tuesday at 4 p.m. Kolalago SABC 1. Zansi. Oh, sure.